Diamondback sidekick, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. Let's take a few shots. Currently, 22 long rifle. We'll go double action here. All right. That double action pull is heavy, but it's not that bad. We've got a nine shot cowboy action that is not entirely cowboy action because as you can see, it is a swing out cylinder that is a bit unique, but it does come with two cylinders. 22 long rifle is what I just shot and 22 Magnum MSRP. 320 bucks. It is a good looking revolver. Cerakote black, so it's not blued with a 4.5 inch barrel. And what makes this really unique is the way that cylinder swings out. This is spring loaded. It's got a little tab up here. You push that forward and out comes the cylinder for easy loading. It does have a ramped up front sight, a tunneled rear sight, big ol' hammer spurred there to put it into single action glass filled nylon grips checkering it is branded db for diamondback but it's a nice looking revolver and i think this is going to be a winner for diamondback now this will be released november 22nd and i already mentioned the msrp of 320 dollars for two cylinders the single action pull is four and a half pounds, which is pretty nice. You know, pretty standard for a single action pull, but I do like that. And I certainly like 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. Let's load it up and we'll fire it some more. 22 long rifle, this time we'll start on the right side. We'll go single action here. It's a nice, nice single action pull. One of the things that I really enjoy about this is, as I mentioned, the versatility. And as you know, the sights on revolvers sometimes are lacking. But you put that blade right in that integral tunnel in the rear, and it is pretty dead nuts. And I also like the ejection of the cases in, in place of taking that long arm and pushing the cases out and rotating the cylinder. So that's actually a nice touch. You can do everything a little bit quicker. But I keep mentioning versatility and one of the things that makes this so versatile is the caliber changings. And I showed on my table review how simple it is to change out the cylinder. <laughs> I took a few shots already and I will mention there is a huge sound difference with the 22 WMR. Let me take a few shots in single action. We'll start on the right side and then move it over to double action. That's a nice Oh, missed those last couple. The sidekick weighs 32 and three quarters ounces. So it is a zinc framed firearm. So it has some weight behind it, but with both 22 long rifle and 22 Magnum, there is no recoil as we would expect. At 25 yards. We're gonna go for 50 yards. May I mention how nice it is shooting 22 long rifle? <laughs> you know, not worrying about the cost of the ammo, not worrying about how much I have. It's just so nice. 
Well, here we are, 50 yards. Got a gong back there at Ryder's Room. Can you hear that? I believe that's it. Yes. Shooting 22 long rifle certainly is nice. 22 Magnum, still hard to find. Still very expensive. 22 long rifle. Nice. That double action pull is, is pretty nice. I was going through that fairly quickly and was able to hit the targets, no problem. Uh, definitely a difference between 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. Now that part we know, but seldom do we shoot them side by side like you can with the Diamondback Sidekick and it, it makes it nice. And of course, uh, the side kick itself is a very nice touch. But if you look at it, you know, you look at the crane, the forcing cone, the timing hand, the bolt stop, it's all there, along with a Cerakote four and a half inch barrel, zinc frame, polymer grips. It's a lot of fun at the range. I figured it would be. A lot of excitement with this revolver right now. I'm certainly excited. And I definitely appreciate that longer barrel and the accuracy that it has at the range and I think Diamondback once again has a very cool firearm to offer. If you like videos like this please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.